guys i literally just ended my last vlog and then we got a package to the door so now i'm starting my next vlog with a very exciting package so let's open it enough then we can eat dinner but dinner might show up earlier but we'll see our chairs are done i think they look really good um they don't match our furniture downstairs but i think they're gonna look really good in the office with all the white furniture so i'm gonna show you guys what they look like with the white desks tomorrow but we're not getting our other white furniture until like the second week of may so we still have a little while before we can see like the finished product but at least we have our chairs Okay, you guys, I just brought these chairs upstairs and I'm going to swap them out. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm pretty sure they're too tall, so they're not going to slide underneath the desk, but it's going to be okay because we kind of already assumed that would happen because these desks are really short and I just feel like to find chairs that short is really rare. So we're just going to try it out and see. So these are the new chairs. These are the old chairs that we actually bought in our very first apartment as dining room chairs they're folding chairs from target and they're really nice for a folding chair but we've just we've moved past these and it's time to let them go we're just going to keep them in the garage for like extra seating when we have guests come over also i don't know these chairs when i ordered them this is supposed to be a dark gray and then this is a brown wood clearly but this looks blue to me the dark gray looks like it has a blue tint and I don't know if that's just me or if it really is like that or if it's the lighting or what but this looks blue so I don't know I don't think I'll hate it if it is like a blue because everything else in the room is going to be white so it won't really matter but I was going for a gray so whatever let's see okay chairs definitely too tall just because the arms you can see right here there's like an inch and a half, maybe even just an inch of space, but it's so comfortable. Wow, this is so much better. We needed something with arms and this is perfect. It's so comfy. I love it. Okay, let me put the other one in and then we can see how they look together. There we go. I think I love it. It looks, I will admit, it looks weird in the room right now because we have all this other brown furniture and it's literally a hot mess express in here. This room drives me nuts, but I think it's going to look good. I think we're really going to like it once we have all the other furniture in here. It's coming soon. A week and a half left before we get it. I think I like it. I think we did good. I will link the chairs in the description box down below. They're from Amazon. It was two of them in a set and they were a good price and pretty easy to put together. So I also just have to point this out because I feel like it's so obvious, but can you guys see this stainage or whatever is going on here? I don't know what the heck happened. The last time I wore this shirt, it was clean and then we washed it and I just pulled it out of my drawer and it has a big stain on here. So I'm assuming it happened from either the washer or the dryer washing it with something I don't know, but I'm kind of bummed because this is like my new favorite cropped shirt, my favorite tank top. Like I love this thing. I just bought it probably two months ago. I've only worn it like three or four times and it's now ruined, but it's okay for around the house. So I'm not going to be too upset about it, but yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Also, I have spent way too much of my time today looking for clothes online. Um, a friend of mine told me that Boohoo was having a sale and I've shopped at Boohoo a couple times before. It's very much hit or miss for me. Um, just like on the sizing, sometimes I'll order something and I think I ordered it way too big and if it's perfect and then other times I will think I ordered the right size and then it's like huge on me and it's just like kind of been a struggle but I'm hoping I figured it out. So I did place an order 
on Boohoo today. So I will have a try on haul video coming soon. It's going to be like a Boohoo try on haul, what you can get for $100, that type of thing, because it was $108 after tax and shipping, and everything was 60% off. So super good deal. I'm really excited. I got like eight pieces. It's going to be fun. I also want to do a closet clean out in the future where I try on everything in my closet and decide what to keep and what to get rid of because I feel like whenever I clean out my closet I don't try the things on I'm just like oh yeah I still like this and I just keep it and I probably should just try everything on to make 100% sure that I want to keep it or want to get rid of it and I don't really have that much clothes so I think doing this type of video wouldn't take like too long it would probably take me like a couple hours so that's going to come and I'm also going to do reorganizing my closet by color because I used to have it organized by color and I loved it and it made me feel so good and then when we moved into the house we threw everything in the closet so quick and so unorganized that nothing is in order and it drives me crazy. So I have a lot of like clothing style videos coming up that I'm excited about. I'm going to stop babbling and yeah. Look at how my camera is wobbling. I don't know what is wrong with this thing. New tripod. It's so scary to see it built back like that. Well, it's like it's screwed in. It's just like loose. You look really cute. Thank you. It's I mean, you look pretty. really cute. Anyways, but like you're just really cute. I don't want <laughs> to be recorded. <laughs> it's actually really nice oh, though. It's a transformer. Oh my god, there's a transformer in the neighborhood. Oh my god. <laughs> it's 93 degrees out, but Wait, like it feels good though. Or is that like the normal? Maybe that's literally Autobot. Bumblebee, but he turned green for Halloween. Okay, I feel the heat now. Is that our mask? Secrets here. Oh, Victoria's Secret. The reason we're coming to the mailbox is because we ordered some masks from this girl on Twitter who is making them for people. Um, so we're waiting for them to come to the mail because we are out of toilet paper and paper towels and we need to be able to go get it since you can't really order it anywhere. You kind of just have to go get it in person. So we're waiting until we get our masks to go anywhere public. So I just finished cooking my dinner. No surprise here, it's broccoli bowls. So I have broccoli, onion, and mushroom, and then white rice in here. But before I sit down to eat, oops, I wanted to show you guys my updated coffee station. So this is still here just because it's going to go in the guest room, but the guest room is not like decorated or anything. So I just kind of want to leave it here for now. But this is our Keurig here that takes the K-cups. Why is there one in there? I'm so lazy. <laughs> and then I have two syrups here. I'm sorry if you can hear Zachary. Um, I am ordering another pump just so this is a pump, but I don't really use peppermint except more around the holidays or if I make tea. So it's not like urgent, but this I use like every single day. And then this is our wine rack, wine cellar thing. I don't know what you call it, but this whole side here is coffee and basically just coffee. I have tea somewhere else, but I wanted to show you guys it. So this drawer, I have all of my coffee mugs. I don't know. They're not organized cute because they're all different mugs. I do plan on getting rid of most of them and replacing them with all white ones that match our dishes, but we just haven't done that yet. It's not urgent. And then on this shelf right here, I have my cold brew. You guys already know. I've linked it in a million videos. This is the best cold brew ground ever. It's so good. So I keep that here. And then this little handy dandy guy, I got at Target and this keeps all of my K-cups. And here, coffee, decaf coffee, and hot chocolate and green tea. And then on the very bottom, 
I keep my larger mason jars here, but they're all being used right now. My baby ones here for my daily coffees, and then my cold brew maker right here. So that's kind of the coffee setup now. So once I move this, I'm gonna have more syrups and I'll have them all lined up here really cute. And then I'm gonna get rid of this candle. I don't like the way that it burns. And then I'll move this over more and then this will be like the alcohol station and that will be the coffee station because we have some wine glasses in here. They were given to us. I want to just get a whole set of wine glasses for like a couple rows and then do champagne glasses, maybe a row of martini glasses as well, just so like we have a whole layout. And then I do have a bottle of wine here. These are actually vodka because I ran out of space in here. So we have basically all we drink is vodka. Well, all I drink is vodka mostly. So that's what all of this is. Majority of this was gifted we're not that crazy about buying alcohol so we have all of these here and then in this drawer this is a mess we have our shot glasses this is a bunch of tea which i need to find a better spot to put it but i just don't know yet so that's where it is for now and then we have all these like mini sample things that we got at a party more tea body cleanse stuff just randoms but eventually i will make that just just a bar area and i think it's gonna look really nice but if anyone's curious because i know people are like shopping for furniture and stuff online right now because they're just sitting at home but i got this with our dining room table and coffee table it all matches it's all from the same set and i got it from my work which is bob's discount furniture this is the elevations wine something or other but this set is called elevation so i will find it and i will link it in case you want it it's a very good price. It's a very nice piece of furniture. I'm obsessed with it. I'm so glad we bought it. We almost didn't because we were like, it's not necessary, but I'm so glad that we got it because I love it and I can't wait to like make it perfect. Oh shit, a wrap. <laughs> and cut, that was awful. <laughs> How do you do? I see it, I see it, it's right there. It's right there. Give me the fucking shoe. It's on the stairs. On the wall, right there. You seen it? You see it? Oh shit! A zombie mosquito. <laughs> hey, look. This is Las Vegas, brother. We don't fuck around with this wacko shit. No, fuck! No, no. Oh wait, I missed my shot. I have to apologize for the crazy energy that we all just experienced together at the end of this video. <laughs> We were just really on some other shit. I don't know. We were just having fun and we were trying to kill this mosquito for the longest time. So by the time we actually could reach it and kill it, it was like a big thing for us. So I apologize, but I forgot to end this vlog. So I'm ending it now while I'm editing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Bye.